talking to your best friend. Who's my best friend? Sit Lolly. It Same sounds way. like you're offended. I'm not offended. You're over here making me look some type of way and you have made me feel so little. You don't ever Are you serious? Talk. No. You're talking okay. and I'm letting you talk. And Are you, you serious never right now? Talk. I carry this entire show. Just saying. Hey! Can you hear me? Yes. What's what's going on? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How's every how's how's everything? <sighs> it's been a little crazy over here. We have a new visitor in town. Well, two new visitors. Obviously, Adriel and Lorelai are here. I know. I saw your stories. I know. It's crazy. Um, but she took up your room, huh? As I I could tell. Yeah, that sucks. I know. I'm in Xavier's room for who knows how long. I don't know how long she plans on staying. But how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Came back. Um, the family appreciates that I'm, you know, been home and stuff. But you know, aside from baseball getting canceled, school cutting getting cut short, and all that stuff. But no, you were doing so good this season, huh? Yeah. I mean, I was getting starting to get hot. The started off pretty slow. You know. I mean. Freshman year, freshman yeah. year jitters, I would say, but I'm just excited for next year. And having to come home from college and stuff, like I never ever expected. Cause I was supposed to just come home for spring break, you know? So I like, got- yeah, Spring break, spring, it was gonna be spring break in like summer, like a couple weeks after, right? Yeah, my spring break was like a month before my summer. It's so sad. But for yeah. like school, how, how'd you do? Um, classes went really well. Um, it's it's pretty tough out here, so I'm doing I'm doing as best as I can. That's How about you? Cool. Honestly, it went really well. Like I expected myself to just literally crash and burn, but I did pretty good this semester and last semester. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, you can't act like you didn't hit me up a couple times to help you. Guys, please come help me with this math, because obviously I'm so bad at math. Hi. Hi, how are you? No, I'm good. How about yourself? I'm good. How what you been up to? Nothing. Um, my parents just, well, my mom just had a, like a virtual reality kind of surprise party. And it, I got really emotional. I started crying because it was all my family and they were on Zoom and all my friends. So, yeah. Aww. Aww. Yeah, I, I was going to tell you, like, because I just got back from like North Carolina, I'm back in Cali. I want to say uh, happy birthday. Thank you. I was still traveling and everything, so I wasn't part of your little, like, little virtual reality thing, but I don't tell me about it. And so, I mean, really, I'm glad you liked it. Oh, thank Hopefully you. It was fun, because I know this quarantine thing sucks. I know, it's pretty crazy. How do you like it being back home? Are you bored? I know you came back home at a pretty crazy time. Uh, it's been, it's been all right. I thought it was, thought it was gonna be way worse, but it's been okay so far. Uh, I just wish like there was a lot more to do. Just I know. being back home. There's one thing that I wanted to do, like being back here and like seeing you happy, like and for your birthday, I wanted to take you out. But everything being closed and everything being like to go is just like. Then I'd probably have to throw the food at you because we can't be like within six feet or something. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, we have to hang out after everything is over. Yeah. I'll let you choose. Like, I'll just drive wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do. I'll drive you. Okay. Very gentle. It'll be, your, it'll be your day, part two, because, like, it's very late. Obviously. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, like, hopefully, like, when all this stuff is, like, over and done with, like, I can take you out and just, you know, know can do some fun like whatever you want because it's your birthday so it'll be like kind of your day for my birthday yes of course i mean but like is shani gonna be cool with it i don't know if, like i'm gonna friends and whatnot so you came back home after like i did though right yeah i came back a couple days after you i think 
that's when I, I texted you. I think you're the first person I texted that I came back home, so. That's crazy. Well, I'm happy you and I are still friends, though. Like, I feel like it's never yeah. weird, you know? I know. People People still, they're like, oh, are you dating? Oh, are you guys? Well, I mean, like, they, they expect the two complete opposites. Like, if you're not dating, then you guys hate each other. Yeah. Or if you guys don't hate each other, then you're dating, so. No, and it's, like, funny, though, because I still get comments, like, on everything. Like, are you guys, like, still together? And, like, are you guys still dating? And all this stuff. And, like, remember that TikTok I posted with you, like? Oh, yeah. Maybe? Yeah, that was, yeah. People were, like, so upset that we broke up. But I was like, guys, like, I'm always on, like, Instagram Live, and I'm, like, clarifying that we're, like, still friends. But it's, like, so weird to, like, my parents still and stuff, you know? Yeah. Well, hopefully when this quarantine's over, we can go back to eating our chicken wings and... I know. I, I'll get first, I'll get first round of wings on me. Hopefully we can have a normal meal and go back to normal life very soon, but... All I'm doing now is sitting, doing online classes. Or, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, it's just like really weird though, because like you're literally like no longer 300 miles away. You're literally five minutes away and like we're not yeah. able to together and stuff is really weird. Yeah, the drive to your house was like my most common drive like during the school year and like when we were together and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's weird. Being, yeah, that's like the that was the like one of the reasons why like we we kind of like stopped seeing each other was like the distance and now yeah. kind of like the Romeo and Juliet where we can't really see each other and stuff like that even though you're like down the street. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's weird, but I literally miss you, and it's weird. Yeah, because we're literally so close. Like, it's so sad. Like, you're still like probably my best friend. Like, yeah. Yeah. I do miss you too, so all this stuff sucks because I was looking forward to seeing everybody. Yeah, well, I will see you very, very, very soon. Be safe, make sure your family is safe and you're disinfecting everything. Tell your family to say hello. Okay, and keep sending me pictures of Adriel. (laughs) Okay, I will. All right, be safe. All right, see you soon. All right, bye. Bye. I don't know if she'll like, be cool with us like talking I, and I'm really not trying to be a bad friend I honestly wouldn't even consider her my friend because she's done like a lot of fake stuff towards me mm-hmm. um that I wouldn't consider her my friend I would just consider her a co-worker but Ooh. um yeah I don't think that in this situation like I understand that she really liked you and she's came to me for like a lot of things about you but she i don't think she should have an opinion like i think the only one that really has a right to have an opinion about something is iram and you yeah only because i rammed your sister and she's my best friend Damn, tell me how you really feel. <laughs> yeah i think that's basically just how i feel about the situation like she and then she's like done like a lot of th- things that she's fake about towards me so i wouldn't even consider her a friend so i have no i mean not that i'm a bad person but like i have no loyalty towards her to be honest no i was just i was just asking you like saying that just because like i know like well now i know different but like i know she was your friend and like i don't want to be like getting in the way of y'all's friendship with you guys You know, that kind of thing, so, but now that I know. Yeah, you, you definitely I, don't have to worry about that. Well, about her. Um, the only yeah. one are friends are the other three. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> how are you guys? Good, how are We're you? doing good. How are you guys doing? We're just waiting for everyone to hop on. Yeah. I I'm you surprised guys. you came before the rest of them. I, I know. know. It's always late. Ah, hi, Alyssa. Hi. You with your black hair. Woo. Oh my god, so cute. Mm-hmm. I know. I like my black hair more. I'm yeah, about I to dye my That's hair. Character. About... You were about to what? I'm about to dye my hair too. I'm so bored. Dude, might as well. Like, my blonde started looking so brassy and, and it started looking so dead. I was just like, you know what? I'm just kind of. Yeah, I think I'm, yeah, just because it's, uh, I don't want to maintain. 
Yeah, it is. So, where's Shani? Probably talking to her BFF. Mm. Girl. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That video, how, how do you feel or what's going through your mind? I have so many questions right now. <laughs> What they were saying, like, it's not even true. Like, they're only telling half of the story. Like, no one's telling my side of the story or how I viewed things. Um, like, first, Shani is saying that the super fan brought this all up, but she's forgetting that she's the one that told me. So, I guess the fan, the fan and Shani were close at first, and then the fan told Shani, and Shani's the one who ran and told me. And then that's why I became close with the fan. So she's over there telling Silali, oh yeah, the fan started this. The fan did that and the fan did this. Shani started all of this. And I know her. She's trying to make herself look like the victim. And she's not. I think it's two-faced. I agree with you. I yeah. agree with you. I am Alyssa's backing, um, coming back from what's it called? Remember when we did the lie detector test? Oh my god! Oh, oh my god. Shani! Hello. <laughs> Why were you late? I was just late. I was doing my makeup. I didn't notice the time. Talking to your best friend. Is there a problem? No, I was just asking if you were talking to your best friend. Who's my best friend? Sit Lolly. I talked to her once and then all of a sudden she's my best friend, okay. But you're gonna come over here and tell us that, oh, um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna talk to her or she's fake or whatever, whatever you said last time we were on phone call and then you're gonna go FaceTime her, phone call her? You know, I talked to her to see what were her intentions. I mean, we were going to see her at the party and she's going to be filling with us. I just wanted to see what her intentions were. So sorry that you got offended. I didn't get offended. I'm just it saying. It sounds like, like you're offended. I'm not offended. You're over here making me look some type of way and talking about me, saying that I've had drama with all the girls when I've only had drama with two girls off camera and you're over here talking about her, but then going over there to FaceTime her. Alyssa, you've had problems a lot. Maybe small problems, maybe big problems, but you have, okay? Stop twisting stuff, because seriously, like, it's not cool. I'm serious. Okay, if I wanted to talk to her, though, I would have. I didn't have to have you do it for me. You She's the one that brought it up to me, okay? She's the one that brought it to my I called her in the first place. No, it's my drama. You should have let me deal with it. I don't want to bring it up again. Obviously, you're the only one that cares about it, so because you keep bringing it up. Okay, okay, okay. I'm the one that's bringing it up. I'm the one that cares to be in drama all the time. Okay, look who's saying, like, look who's talking about that I want to be in the drama when you're literally talking about it, when you're literally talking to Xavier and you know how that is. So, like, don't even go there, dude, because you're literally, like, I don't get it. So now we tell people who we can and can't be friends with? Uh, yeah, we can be friends with him. Everyone's friends with him, but you're more than friends with him. And Alyssa, we were really close one time, so don't even act like that, bro. Don't even act like I didn't cry to you about everything else. Like, don't act like that. But whether we're friends or not, whether we're talking or not or anything, how is that your business? This is not your business. It's really not. I always, literally for the past, what, six seasons, seven, I don't know how many seasons, I've always came at you calmly. I've always been the neutral one. And you have made me feel so little just because you want camera time you <gasps> oh, oh, this is what I mean. You don't ever Are you serious? Talk. Yes. Because I want camera You're talking time. Sorry and I'm that I'm the only You're one that is able and to I'm hear this entire show. You're talking okay? and I'm letting you talk. And Are you, you serious right now? Talk. That's how you make me feel little. So I'm, I'm proud tired of you bullied. And I'm tired of you stepping all over me. I carry this entire show. Just saying. You I carry do. this entire show. Okay. Yes. Okay. I do. I do. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Think that. Alyssa, you know, you're like really sus and you know, you pretend like you're sweet and everything, but seriously, like you're the most biggest person I've ever met. And the only reason I want to do another season is so I can expose you and show everyone how like rude you are. I feel the exact same way. Okay, great. Great.
Dang bro, that was intense. But let us know down in the comment section if you guys want season seven of Life After Quince. Don't forget to stay safe, wash your hands, and take care. Bye guys. For more Quince content, click the box down below to watch more. And don't forget to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV My Jim Quinceanera channel.